Guys, make sure to stay tuned on one common mistake. If you make that mistake, guys, we will talk about what it is. It can actually cost you thousands of dollars in repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a BMW 5 Series Generation F10 F11 from year 2010 to year 2017. If you guys have one of those, you need to find where the moonroof fuses are located, which fuses you need to check, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, realize the good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. Why well, it's always a good idea to test fuses and realize all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure to stay until the end. Before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos guys. We take them completely apart, we show you how to do almost anything. Transmissions, engines, bodywork, coats, fuses. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos. Now, guys, we took pictures of every fuse box in that BMW, okay? Uh, every fuse box so we can clearly guys show you where everything is located so you can clearly see the fuses because otherwise they're hidden in places where practically we cannot get the camera so we're going to show you one by one okay we have video about every single fuse every single relay so let's say you're in the middle of nowhere you need to guys okay find where the fuel pump fuse is located all you have to do watch our video it will take you probably guys less than two minutes replace that fuse and you're back on the road otherwise you'll be stuck in the middle of nowhere guys we make those videos for your convenience now uh, we'll make video for every single fuse and every single relay guys and we have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channel check it out they can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs so guys the moonroof fuses the moonroof module fuses where you can expect to find them we will demonstrate on this generation BMW 5 series quick fact 9 out of 10 people do not know that we have you have actually quite a few hidden fuse boxes check out the video on our YouTube channel about fuse box location BMW F10 F11 go ahead guys and open the passenger door once you do that open the glove box on the very back on the right side you have a cover remove that cover and you'll find a fuse box with a layout like this one before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays so let us tell you guys why it's super important to test fuses and relays. Fuses guys sometimes are really hard to know if they're burnt or not. For instance I'm going to pull one fuse here okay and sometimes you cannot clearly see if they're good they're bad and let's say you think you have a good fuse you put it back in and you end up having problems again and you spend time money you buy parts diagnostics you pay for services that you don't need guys you practically wasted your money so all you have to do waste uh, ch ch check your fuses that way you don't waste money guys so always test your fuses even if you think it's good always test it it even happened to us guys okay and we work on cars all the time another thing always test your relays they're a little bit harder to uh, test but if you want to see guys how to test fuse relays we will put a link in the description of the video below but we've seen so many customers that think that they have a good fuse they put it back in they waste their money on parts and diagnostic that they practically guys do not need so check out the link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse and how to test the relay as well so guys if you want to buy fuses relays parts tools at really good price quick shipping as well guys we're going to put a link in the description of the video below guys uh, make sure you get some for peace of mind and you can put some spare ones in the glove box so some people go with sunroof some people go with moonroof but where are those fuses located we need to check up to four different fuses now what we need to do specifically guys okay we need to start okay uh, but before we start please make sure you stay until the end we want to share one good advice with you that way you don't end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us uh, now the first fuse that you need to check guys okay will be known as fuse 58 so if we come in that row of fuses here okay that will be 56 7 8 that fuse here will need to be checked okay now next we need to come to the lower section around the relay it's only one relay so you kind of like know where we are guys and here we need to check fuse number 32 so here okay that will be 32 guys okay that fuse right here fuse number 32 the fourth one from top to bottom then you need to check another one which is actually fuse number 61 okay and 61 is in that row that we were here you need to check that last fuse right there check that one too 
then you come down uh, one more time and we need to check one more guys and that's fuse number 66 which will be that seven and a half m fuse that you will need to check right there so you guys have all kinds of different fuses relays okay in that car so what we recommend guys okay buy some spare fuses relays put them in the glove box for a peace of mind one time we needed a replacement we couldn't get one okay and we were stuck in the middle of nowhere so always keep some spare fuses and relays in your glove box guys that way you don't end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us hopefully the video was helpful guys thank you for watching and see you next time